Hello, this is Simpsons Ultimate. Uh, some of you may be wondering how I survived the alien invasion. Well, it took a lot of negotiation and a lot of time, but King Kodos finally agreed to take the lives of nine of my close relatives uh, rather than mine. So, uh, yeah, I'm back in action, so here we go. Um, I... With me, I have two board games, um, The Simpsons Monopoly, and, uh, The Simpsons Seen It. So, you may have seen these two in some of my earlier videos, like my collection videos, but I haven't really, uh, shown them in detail yet, so I'm just gonna do that today. So, uh, Starting off with Monopoly, for those of you who don't know what Monopoly is, basically you uh, go, uh, roll dice and go around the board and uh, collect property and get money and trade property and get more money and lose money and whatnot. So, here, let's open it. Or take a look at it, rather. So, on the front, it says Monopoly, uh, the fast stealing property trading game, Simpsons Edition. Uh, it's got Mr. Burns and Homer. And of course, the Monopoly Man. So, when we open the box up, um, we have, obviously, an instruction booklet, which, uh, as you can imagine, it has lots of instructions in it on how to play the game. Uh, then we have some chance cards. Some of them feature uh, characters from the show. Yeah, see, like there's Homer. Advanced to go. Uh, and community chest cards. Also featuring uh, characters. Okay, so. Uh, digging deeper into the box, we uh, find the property cards. Um, the properties are actually places from the show, uh, like Cletus's shack, uh, Krusty Lou Studios, and, uh, the Barney's Bolorama, and more. I'll get into that later. For now, I'm just gonna show you the, the, the board. So, obviously the board is this big black thing, which I'm having trouble getting out. Alright, there we go. So here's the board. It's uh, pretty big, as you'd imagine. Um, right in the center, you've got Mr. Burns and Homer, like on the um, on the box, and then you've got all these squares going around the board. So it's basically a monopoly, is all. And if you land on one of the properties, then uh, um, you can buy the property or just pass on, but if your uh, if your opponent lands on the property, then they have to pay a rent if you own it. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I really enjoy playing this game because it has like obviously like uh, the properties are fun to look at and stuff like a uh, a quickie mart. Uh, you got Moe's Bar, Jazz Hole. Disco Stews, uh, the Androids Dungeon, uh, Herman's Military Antiques, the Tire Yard, and uh, Burns Manor. They all like um, they're not just random properties either. They uh, they correspond to the price range. So this game is different from the standard Monopoly game, which uses paper money. Because it uses um, this electronic thing. It makes noise if you do stuff. And the money is in millions rather than hundreds like uh, like uh, original Monopoly. Okay, so uh, we, we get into this. There are some credit card things. We've got Bart, Lisa, Homer, Mr. Burns. Krusty and Marge. So, if you haven't already figured it out, those are the playing uh, characters. 
that you can play as. And here are the pieces. These are nice metal. Um, there's crusty. They're very solid. Uh, there's Marge. Lisa riding a horse. Uh, Mr. Burns carrying a sack of money. Bart driving a car. That's a bit of a reference to the original Monopoly. And Homer, uh, I think he's wearing his dancing Homer costume. I'm not sure though. So anyway, those are the game pieces. And there's two die, and you roll them. They have numbers on them, just as you, just as you'd expect. Oh, I rolled doubles. Cool. Uh, so the houses and the hotels are just the same as the original Monopoly. So, you know, it's all good. And, uh, if we swipe the credit card, I'm just gonna use Bart's. Hold on. I am so confused. I forgot how this works. I think you put it in like that. Yeah, and then you can, uh, deposit money or withdraw money. So, I'm just gonna give myself seven million. Yeah, and Homer does a woohoo. And uh, if you put it in the other side, you can withdraw money. And uh, Homer says, dough. So. Alright, I think that's all I have to say about Monopoly. Um, now moving on to uh, The Simpsons Seen It. Oh, I'll just move over here, because there's more space. Okay, so The Simpsons has seen it. Uh, seen it, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a game where you, uh, there's a DVD and there's clips, and you have to answer questions about the clips. And you have to know a lot about the show. Or, well, not a lot, but you have to know a sufficient amount of knowledge about um, the show. So we have the family here. Half the family, anyway. Jeez Louise. Sorry, this is harder than I expected it to be. Ah, when I lift one side up, the other one goes down. Alright, there we go. So, once we've taken the lid off, we can see there's an instruction manual. I'm not really going to go into that too much. Uh, here's the DVD itself. There's auto on the back, just words. Words that I don't want to read. Inside is the DVD. And you, you put this into your DVD player and uh, it plays clips, and it has a rattle for it, so that's cool. And uh, I'm just going to show the game pieces. Um, they're not as solid as the Monopoly ones, they're actually sort of cheap feeling plastic. So you got a TV, you got Blinky, a uh, Squishy, and uh, the, the power plant. So, yeah. You take the uh, board out, it actually expands a little bit. The board looks like this. It's got the family there. Now, uh, how you play this game is you... There's two die. Um, they're both different. And you basically roll these, and it uh, tells you how far to... to uh, how far to go, and also... No, sorry, uh, it tells you your category, and if you get that right, 